Hi everyone, I welcome you to the backstories from the wild. The scene was how uh, the Malabar whistling thrush collects food and delivers it to its babies. The insects and worms were being picked up at such speed by the parent and it was all collecting it together and taking it back to the nest. Ideally, I wanted a lot of worms to be in the uh, bird's beak, like how the puffins have a lot of fish in their beak. But uh, I also wanted to get the other part of the story, which was when the parent would take these worms and feed it to its chicks. I could only envision this sequence after having located uh, Malabar Whistling Thrush uh, nest right outside my house. I was confident to film it because the birds, uh, including the chicks, they had already been used to a lot of human activity around them. I wanted to film the earthworm picking part first and then uh, schedule the next session which was the feeding part later on because I wanted to make sure how many uh, earthworms or the number of earthworms on its beak were uh, close enough when I was able to film the bird coming back to its nest. When I knew that the first half of the sequence was done and I was confident enough, I then went on to the nest site. I positioned myself at a safe distance from the nest and I started to wait for the action to turn up. So every time the parent would come back to its nest to feed its chicks, it would give a sound from a distance. And that was my cue to start recording. So immediately I would start recording and wait for it to come. But then a lot of times it came back with other insects. And then I was like still waiting because the first half was uh, the earthworms. And now I had just the other insects. So I had to wait for a few more instances. And over time, the adult came back with a certain amount of earthworms, which was pretty much uh, matchable to the first half of the sequence that I had filmed uh, sometime earlier. My other main objective was to keep the bird in focus, especially because this part was uh, very lowly lit and uh, focusing them was quite a challenging task. I had to make sure they were in precise focus, especially when the adult comes in, feeds it to its chicks and gets back. Thankfully, the adult got a lot of worms for the first half of the sequence and uh, when it was looking under the leaf, the litter, it was able to get a lot of worms in its beak and that part I was really confident about and I just wanted to concentrate on the second half. Because the second half, although I was just waiting at one position, I had to make sure that the earthworms were similar to the amount of the ones that were in the first segment. And I was really happy, especially when the thrush enters the scene, like how an actor enters the theater scene. Uh, that is really important because a subject entering the scene and exiting is very important to build the sequence and I was very happy that I got that part and uh, when it was feeding the, the chicks suddenly opened their mouth and it was just completely yellow inside. So beautiful and once it was uh, uh, finished feeding with the, uh, the worms, uh, one of the chicks quickly turned around and uh, uh, excreted a fecal sac, that's how they usually excrete. And the mother quickly, or, or any, uh, the adult quickly picks it up and then heads back out. So I was very uh, happy with the entire sequence working together.